Oh! Oh, fellow YouTube users, here comes another set of dating tips. Make sure you stay in good contact with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Make sure it's not on distance because, well, we all know how much of a pain in the butt that is. But if it's a long distance relationship, make sure you be sure that you don't well vanish off the face of the earth. Send her gifts once in a while, write her letters, love poems, love songs, cards, not from Hallmark. Nah, Hallmark's pretty cheap. You know, write it yourself. A nice, neat, meaningful card. Send her presents. And if you're not in a long distance relationship, let's say she lives like a mile away from you, come see her frequently. Hang out, chill, talk about stuff. Hang out. Heck, you can go to a concert once in a while. Take her out to a nice dinner. Or better yet, you can go see the new Pittsburgh game coming up next week, you know. Um, no, not really though, but still. If you're not into football, you know, then take her to something nice. Let's say, Ruby Tuesdays. Not the most expensive food. You know. In just stay, you know, stay in contact, you know. Make sure um, you're not too clingy on each other. Like, you don't talk to each other on the phone. You don't say, I love you every five seconds. And if your boyfriend or your girlfriend says that they're not mad at you, believe her the first time. Because if you say, no, I think you're mad, and do it over and over again, you are making them mad. Trust me. You are pissing them off. It's done, right? Alright, that's it for dating tips. Um, <laughs> from this person who's not a dating expert, expert, but, you know, personal experience, I guess I could say. Oh, 